The formation of sodium oxide. In the sodium atom, there are only one electron in its outer electron shell. It takes less energy for sodium to donate that one electron than it does to accept seven more electrons to fill the outer shell. If sodium loses an electron, it now has 11 protons, 11 neutrons and only 10 electrons, leaving it with overall charge of plus one. It is now referred to as sodium ion. Oxygen has 6 electrons in its outer shell. Again, it is more energy efficient for oxygen to gain 2 electrons than to last 6. Therefore, it tends to gain 2 electrons to create an ion with 8 protons, 8 neutrons and 10 electrons, giving it a net charge of minus 2. It is now referred to as a oxide ion. In this example, the two sodium atoms will donate its two electrons to empty its shells and oxygen will accept that two electrons to fill its shell. The three ions now satisfy the octet rule and have complete outermost shells. These transactions can normally and take place simultaneously. In order for the two sodium atoms to last two electrons, it must be in presence of a suitable receiver like an oxygen atom. Ionic bond with dot structure If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon.